Well, I am thrilled to have Marlene join me today on our episode of Dressing Your Truth Makeovers. Thanks for coming, Marlene. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Now, you profiled yourself as a type 2 soft, subtle woman. That's right. Were you living true to that before you identified that in my energy profiling system? No, I, I had fought against that a little bit, thinking that I didn't want to be quiet and reserved. And Were you called shy ever in your life? Always. Always. <laughs> yes. Do you notice I never use that word? Yes, actually. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, because was it ever applied in an honoring way? We love that you're so shy. It was kind of the message behind it is that's a weakness. You need to change that. Absolutely. Yeah. So now I like the word subtle. So has this been an opportunity to give a lot more permission to being you? Exactly. I feel... Uh, like, I don't have to make excuses for being shy anymore. When you're not really shy. Right. You're soft. You're gentle. Your natural energy has a subtlety to it, which in a world that says you've got to be bigger and louder is looked at as a weakness. Exactly. And it's such a gift to our planet at this time. We certainly need more soft, gentle energy in the world. So thank you for finding yourself. It's been great. So you sent your audition video in and there were a couple things that Marlene pointed out that I think are really classic kind of frustrations for women when it comes to the fashion and beauty world and the, the, the how lost we are, women are in this system. So let's take a look at her audition video. I struggle with many areas, but the area I think I struggle the most in is my hair. I have fine, thin, wavy hair. I've always thought if it could only be thicker, if it could be straighter, then I'd be happy. <laughs> I don't know how to achieve the look I want and I definitely don't know what to ask my hairdresser for. Now in your audition video, I love that you were really honest by declaring this sense of, I don't know what to do with my hair. And always thinking that it was because there was something again wrong with your hair. Yes. <laughs> that you couldn't achieve the outcome you wanted because you didn't have the right hair. Where do you think you picked up on that, that there is this, because you can't think you don't have what's correct unless you're comparing it to something, which I think is the real disappointment in our current system that women grow up with to say, what I have isn't right. There's something else better. When did you start thinking this about your hair? It was from a young age. Um, you know, I would see what was on TV and the magazines and I thought, uh -huh. okay, I want that. And then I just, I couldn't replicate it. So I figured there was something wrong with me instead of right. just knowing how to do it, I guess. Well, not working with what you have and understanding the choices you had. And I think that's classic that women feel that the flaw exists within our own selves, the flaw of our body, the flaw of our hair, the flaw of who we are, and that the system somehow is correct. And it's telling us, well, if you can't look like this or have this appearance, then you're the flaw, which... What, what do you, I hope, I know you have learned this from me. Yeah. Is that a correct conclusion? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> and once you learn it, you probably think, how did we all buy into that? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, really? It was so eye-opening. It really was. Yes. <laughs> like, well, the flaw is the system's not supporting me in discovering how to be beautiful and being able to create skill sets to be beautiful. So the two things that you're still help, wanting help with is, you want a hairstyle that you can claim is your style, that's easy to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. You are a stay-at-home mom, so I'm in full favor of saying you can't have something that requires a lot of your time. Exactly. And the other component is creating a style with accessories. And so you've attempted this. Yes. <laughs> and what's that look like? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're still kind of running the belief of I, I'm inept. I don't know how to do it. Right. So I'm, so that's what we want to shift immediately is saying, I'm confident in creating a style that's perfect for me. That's your new belief system. I'm, in fact, I want you to repeat this after me. I am confident. I am confident. In creating a style. In creating a style. That's perfect for me. That's perfect for me. Because as you hold that and embody that belief, it will develop. You'll develop that ability to create that style. So in the days of, I don't know what I'm doing, because that's been your, you've been playing from that. I still yes. don't know what I'm doing. Right. So what has, when you've attempted, kind of share what that's, when you've put on the scarf or put on the jewelry, what's that been like in that attempt? 
I just, I, I put on something, I try something, and I look in the mirror and think, that just doesn't fit right. So let's try something else. That just doesn't fit right. I don't know, I don't know if it looks good. Maybe it does, but I, I just don't know. I don't have the confidence to, to, yeah. um, to say yes, that this is fine. Well, I really think that's at the heart of it is this belief that I don't know what I'm doing. The new belief is, I do know, say that one with me, I, I do, do know, know what I'm, I'm doing. Because <laughs> that's what's throwing you is this old belief. So, gone, <laughs> new belief, and I do know what I'm doing and okay. I'm learning and developing in that knowing. But for now, I wanna help you get that hairstyle and I wanna help you get a great look with accessories and all and still stay true to your lifestyle, which is more casual. Great, great. So you excited? That, I'm very excited. <laughs> I know <laughs> you are. <laughs> I'm really thrilled that you're willing to let us help you. <laughs> Let's get started with your makeover. It's going to be amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm just thrilled for Marlene because, you know, I think they're all great, but this one is just touching my heart in a special way. So let's take a look at Marlene's before picture. And let's see the... Marlene now, the beautiful Marlene, join me. I love this. Oh, it seriously just warms my heart, I wanna cry. Oh. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I know, because your hair, first of all, is so fabulous. I love that it's, we've gone a little bit shorter, you like that? I love it. I didn't, I didn't know it was possible with my hair type. Because <laughs> you thought there were those limitations with just how fine your hair was. Exactly. Well, and it looks really healthy now with just having a shorter length. What do you love about it? Because I know you do, you can tell, you're just really pleased, almost <laughs> kind of shockingly pleased. Like, wow, I didn't know that, you know, I don't think you knew you could look so beautifully put together. That's exactly it. I, I didn't know that it was possible. I just, I figured that it wasn't in me and yet, and yet here it is. Here it is. <laughs> I'm so pleased. <laughs> I think your makeover is a really good example of how important a hairstyle just changes your whole look and really has such an impact on creating a style, creating a personal expression of your beauty. And I think that um, if I had these clothes and this jewelry but with my old hairstyle, right. it, it wouldn't be the same. No, not at all. It wouldn't have the personalization factor of, you know, I've put some thought into how I want to appear to the world. What's important to me as a woman, you know, my own personal expression of beauty. Yes. Which this hairstyle really speaks for you, just really comes forward. The conversation before was, I don't know what I'm doing. So with this, do you feel like you can do this? This I is do. something you can accomplish on your own? I do. I feel like it's a starting off point where um, you've given me the tools, you've given me the, the ideas, and now I can go from here to start building yeah. my own style. I love this outfit because this is very much an outfit that... A uh, woman with your lifestyle, with a mom, with a little boy. Right. It's very practical. But it's interesting. Imagine that if you didn't have any of the jewelry on, you'd still look, you know, really nice. But it's these simple additions, these details 